few scenarios apply to the old saying, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. <laughs> quite like losing a leg. It's been a long road to recovery, both physically and emotionally. Especially when you're an active Coloradan and a personal trainer like Stacy Mickelson. When body image is kind of your identity and then something like this happens, it, it rocks your world. Three years ago, her husband and kids joined some friends on a houseboat on Lake Powell. Just relaxation, some water skiing. The sun had set, she went downstairs to get some bedding. The last thing she'd remember until waking up in the hospital days later. The explosion was in the engine compartment and I was standing on top of the engine compartment. A friend died, her husband severely burned, and Stacy would become all too familiar with the inside of a hospital. Head injury, neck injuries, um, eye injuries, and both of my legs and feet were crushed. Ultimately, she decided on an amputation, but she was left with an uncomfortable, sometimes painful socket prosthetic. You would put on your liner and then a few socks and then try to bounce into your prosthetic to get it to attach. Nice, even strides. Enter Dr. Jason Stoneback at University of Colorado Hospital. It's a relatively new technique uh, that is not done at very many places in the world. Who performs osseo integration, anchoring prosthetics directly to existing bone. Ta-da, I know. No need to constantly refit and adjust. And her gait will be very close to normal and pain-free thanks to very specific measurements from high-tech sensors and cameras. Which then decreases the incidence of having wound problems around the socket. Um, having actually building her muscles. And perhaps the most exciting part of this method is the future. Pressure on the prosthetic can be felt inside of my foot. On the connecting bone. Outside of my foot. Wow. It's amazing. Dr. Stoneback yep. and his team at UC Health are closely looking at incorporating this method into the neuro network. So when they think about raising their foot, it raises. It's optimism that's pushed Stacy through her emotional recovery too. My physical appearance is not my identity. Oh, that's so smooth. She knows that when she gets to ditch the crutches in the coming weeks, that life will resume with more meaning than ever. What we've accomplished because of the human being that we are is much more important than worrying about physical perfection. In Denver, Ryan Herrer, 9 News. UC Health is the only hospital in the state performing this surgery, and really few places even do it across the country.